Ichigo's bloodline goes far deeper than just him being a Shinigami, Quincy, Hollow, Fulbring, all of that. Because his family's Riz precedes even the Soul Society itself. Because Ichigo is related to none other than one of the founders of the Soul Society and the creator of the Bleach universe itself. Huh? Throughout the course of Bleach, Ichigo has demonstrated insanely strong Ryatsu and has been able to master OP techniques which other Soul Reapers spend decades learning within just a day! Like, that shit's crazy! The point I'm trying to make is that Ichigo isn't exceptional for no reason. While his determination and drive were an important aspect in him becoming stronger, it's undeniable that Ichigo would have never gotten this far if it wasn't for his bloodline, which is of the Shiba clan, one of Soul Society's five noble houses. But in order to understand Ichigo's first ancestor, we also need to understand the other four noble houses. Sadly, the manga Bleach doesn't give us much information to go off of. But Kubo saw this and said, nah, I still have left to say, bruh. So he released three light novels called Can't Fear Your Own World, which takes place after the Thousand Year Blood War and focuses primarily on the noble houses. It also gives us a massive lore dump tackling the inception of the current world and soul society, where the noble houses are directly responsible for the creation of everything that we see. In the novel, Ichibei, the captain of Squad Zero, recounts the true history of the world, stating that over a million years ago, all of existence was but a single chaotic primordial world. Neither life nor death existed. However, this stagnant stage changed with the emergence of hollows, who started to feast on the humans, which started to disrupt the circulation of souls causing the world itself to destabilize. When hollows started to evolve into Menos, the being known as the Soul King appeared. It was as though the Soul King was born solely to protect the world from these hollows and once again bring out stability. By annihilating these hollows, the Soul King was able to protect the living and bring a form of harmony. However, the destruction of the hollows brought out its own problem, causing the world to once again stagnate. In response, five powerful beings came together to create a better world. These beings were the ancestors of the five noble families, Shihoen, Kuchiki, Tsunayashi, Shiro, Shiba, and one other mysterious clan. Now, while their methods and goals aligned, their motives did not. Tsunayashiro wanted to control the Soul King's divine power. The unnamed ancestor wanted to create a lid to cover up the pit that would become known as hell. Kuchiki wanted to create order. Shihoen wanted to advance this stagnant world. And finally, Shiba wanted to create a world where hollows could live on their own in peace. Eventually, the five realized that in order to accomplish their goals, they they had to split the current world into three new ones and needed the power of a transcendent being to do so. And guess who that would be? Yup, it's the Soul King himself. The Soul King, along with all his other broken abilities, also possessed a power that made him nigh on omniscient and omnipotent called the Almighty. With this power, the Soul King is able to completely perceive and change the future at will. But having the balls of the prediction ability isn't the only thing this Almighty power bestows. It also entails a power to manipulate the boundary of the world itself. While Shiba, being Ichigo's ancestor, initially tried to convince the others to find another way, they nonetheless proceeded with their plan. Well, they ganked the Soul King and then sealed him inside a crystal. Using the Soul King's almighty powers as a keystone, the world was split, life and death were separated, and the cycle of souls began. From this partition, three new main worlds were made. The Realm of the Living, Soul Society, and Wakamundo. And this event was known as the original sin. While Ichibe admits he has no idea why the Soul King never resisted his bindings and allowed the original sin to take place, only speculating that the Soul King saw something in the distant future that made him agree with the ancestors. Probably Ichigo, because, you know, he is him. However, Ichibe states that what followed next was obviously without his consent, because Suna Yashiro was unconvinced of the Soul King's cooperation and feared his immense power. So he proceeded to tear the Soul King apart. The other ancestors joined Tsunayashiro and tore out the Soul King's heart, 
organs, and even his legs in order to create a puppet king for their convenience. The only normal person was of course Ichigo's ancestor, Shiba-sama, as he originally wanted to rebel against Tsunayashiro's plan, even offering himself up as a sacrifice. However, Tsunayashiro rejected his proposal, which as Ichibe pointed out, was the only reason the Shiba bloodline continued to exist, bringing forth Ichigo, who ironically many years later would be considered to become the new Soul King, sealed away to maintain the balance of the world. Furthermore, Kirio Hakifune recalls how Kaien Shiba also had a similar attitude to his ancestor, in which Ichibe states that this is why the Shuna Yashiro family had disgraced the Shiba family. This sentiment also made Ichibe believe that Ichigo's appearance was as though history was repeating itself and wondered if the world needs someone like Ichigo. But if you want to become ripped out like Ichigo, then check out our new embroidered bankai hoodies at animedrip.shop. Be sure to use code Ichigo for 10% off. Too. Regardless, after the Soul King's imprisonment, the social hierarchy of the Serite was established, which was long before even the creation of the Gotei 13. The five powerful beings were placed as the nobility, with their houses carrying the greatest influence over all governmental institutions, from Central 46 to the Shinryo Academy to even the military. Each of the families had distinct roles which were passed down throughout time. The Kuchki are tasked with compiling and protecting the history of Soul Society. And we already know a few of their members from Byakuya and even Rukia who has been adopted. What makes this house interesting is the scarf that is passed down from each head of the clan to the next. This scarf is made from material so expensive it could buy a mansion in California. Holy sh- Yo, that is expensive! God damn! <laughs> Next up is the Shihoin clan, and we're very familiar with them. I mean, uh, that's uh, that's where Yorichi comes from. You know? Lord have mercy, I'm about to bust. What makes Shihoin special is that they are ninjas, as the clan leads the Omnitsukido, or Guard of Heavenly Armaments. They are also the caretakers of the treasured and war tools, said to have been bestowed to them by the gods. Third is Sunayashiro, descended from the guy who disrespected Ichigo's ancestor. But this clan is known to be the most powerful in Soul Society, and this is due to their survival of the fittest mentality and their dedication to wipe out the weak in their family. The clan also has a family zanpakuto, Enrakyoten, which is said to be a cursed sword so no member of the clan has ever used it. The fourth house is still shrouded in mystery as Kubo hasn't revealed it either in the light novels or the manga. Perhaps in the hell arc, the fourth house will finally be revealed because, you know, in their lore, their ancestor proposed a lid to be put on hell. So maybe they are the caretakers of hell or the entrance to hell, maybe? But we don't really care about that. After all, we are here to talk about our goat Ichigo, who is a part of the final noble house, the Shiba clan. This clan, like the others, was established after the Soul King's confinement, and so surely they must be a group just as influential and important as the others, right? Uh, yeah, no, these guys are a bunch of jokers. The Shiba clan mainly specializes in fireworks. So far, the main representatives are Ichigo's cousins, Kukaku and Ganju, uh, who are not really respected at all. Even so, the clan itself was highly recognized recognized for a very long time, until their value diminished, most likely over disagreements about the original sin. Hence why the clan eventually became completely ostracized after the death of Kai and Shiba, the squad 13 lieutenant and former head of the clan. Unlike the other noble houses, the Shiba clan lives in the remote outskirts of the Soul Society in a small house. When we compare this to the Kuchki mansion, it's night and day and truly shows you how much the Shiba clan have fallen. One thing to note is that that though their reputation has gone down the gutter, the original founder Shiba-sama himself was insanely powerful. The only reason he wasn't clapped by Tsunayashiro was because of his strength and standing. Tsunayashiro only respects powerful individuals and Shiba wasn't an exception. However, apart from his protest against the other four nobles in regards to the original sin, Shiba also was very sympathetic to the Hollows and was the first one to propose an idea of exploring hollow purification, a practice which would be used by the Gotei 13 centuries or even eons later, not centuries, it happened like millions of years ago. But these powerful abilities of the Shibas were similar to that of Ishin and Ichigo, as his clan has a distinct fighting style and is able to pass down 
certain techniques like the Getsu Tensho. For example, Ichigo's Mugetsu transformation was taught to him by his father who must have learnt it from him. This technique could actually be reminiscent of the founder as he was the one to create it because Mugetsu turns you into Getsuga itself. This form also has black hair, a staple for the Shiba clan, which supports this theory even more, creating a direct connection between the first generation of the Shiba clan with its present generation. We also know from Ichibei that Ichigo reminds him a lot of the founder, who actually opposed the original sin due to his undying loyalty towards the Soul King, even wanting to replace him as the conduit of the world but was too weak to do so. In fact, it seems like Ichigo's Zangetsu is an enhanced or evolved form of Ishin's Engetsu, where all of them would be related back to Shiba. Another insane ability we can assume Shiba possessed was of course Seppa. Seppa is a technique that's used to seal a person or hollow in sand and this technique was used by none other than, you guessed it, the Soul King. We have seen Ganju use this technique and only Shiba himself could do it too. Remember earlier we talked about how the Shibas were extremely loyal to the Soul King so it's possible that he bestowed this technique upon them as a blessing. Now maybe this is a stretch but what if it's not just Seppa the Soul King blessed the Shibas with but a multitude of his other powers too. However these have never been utilized before because a Shiba has never been able to reach that level of strength until Ichigo which most likely means that Ichigo could become as strong or even stronger than the Soul King at his peak. But that's just pure speculation. Perhaps the Hell Arc could further explore this and show us just how much stronger Ichigo can become. As you can see, Ichigo's Shiba bloodline is full of extremely powerful Shinigami, which is the reason why Ichigo was able to become him. But the real power of the Shiba clan is revealed to us by Tokinata Sunayashiro in the Bleach novel. We learned that Ichigo's family, when united with the other four clans, gains more power and authority than any other individual or organization in the whole universe, only being second to the Soul King himself. But since the Soul King is basically a puppet, it would make them the strongest force ever. However, Tokinata's proposal of unification is rejected just like his ancestor had a disagreement with the first Shiba. But to enjoy more peak, click the video on screen right now. And if you want to look like peak, then get the embroidered Bankai hoodie from AnimeDrip.shop right now.